What's up guys, Mardi Gras Man 23 and I am going to bring to you my pizza shop mock. Now this pizza shop is based on, loosely based on the city pizza place from set 60026 Town Square. Uh, one of the problems with Lego buildings is they're all, when you buy your Lego city sets you get these nice buildings but they're all small. So I'm here with Bricks for Chris because he has inspired me to customize this one once again. So we're just talking about all the changes I made. and Except for the, probably the front of the building, it doesn't really even look like the one that was came with the original set. So as you can see here, this is what it originally looked like. And like I said, this is the pizza City Pizza Shop from set 60026, the town square. So let's see what we've done. Well, first of all, you look over here we had another bike race for the grand opening and look who it is friction pin if you remember from my bike shop mock friction pin was getting his bike souped up and he pulled it off he won this time so we have YM Perry there on his fire bike came in third a fall man in his souped up black bike right there came in second and friction pin pulled off the upset win so Let's get to it, guys. So as we see here, here it is. We've got the clowns. It's grand opening day, so the clowns are there. Pull it up. Let me turn it around a little bit. We go over to the side here. We've got all the sig figs are turned out. Let me back this camera up. And there is Brick Stackers. What would a video be without Brick Stackers? Brick Stacking in the Wild and Finding Lego. Don't know how he does it, but he finds the deals everywhere. So on this side of the building, we've got, you can see I've built it up. I've actually opened the seating area up. So I've got two tables here. I've got two tables right there. You can see we've got the Brick Station. We've got Lego Hobbit and tucked back there as they might be bricks. They're all enjoying a couple pizzas at the grand opening. On this side, we've got Destination Lego. Look right here, we've got Dan from Classy Bricks. And the empty seat is for Clutch. He's got the money. He's wanting to know if anybody's got it, if everybody has anything before they sit down to eat. So one of the main complaints with the original building was the menu was on the side with the trash can. So I've actually move the menu to the side with the seating area and then around the back you'll see what I've done let's take a look around back here oh I forgot to mention all the way from Australia it's the brick designs in Audrahan all the way from Australia he's also known as the brick dragon on YouTube so as we make the turn there's brick star digging in the he's digging in the trash looking for his red brick he's already found one Looking in the dumpster, trying to find another one. And you see, I've moved the trash to the back of the building. I've got an entrance right there. And I've got the stairway up to the apartment on the second floor, which I'll show you in a minute. We'll go around to this side. This is really plain. You see, I've got some green windows to go along with the green doors. The only thing I wish I would have done different had I thought about it was I maybe would have moved this whole line all the way around in green to go with that green trim on the windows. That might have looked good and broke up the lime color scheme, but I like the way it turned out. Tell me what you guys think. I'm, you see, I'm lacking a few one-by-one -one lime plates. I think I need about six of them to really complete it, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this out, show you what it looks like. What I've done on the front is I've added these slopes to the side. You can see them from the side here. I've added these slope pieces. And I've added some to the top right here. Now the front of the building looks a little plain. If I had another city pizza sign like this, I'd probably stick it right here. And I've got that one window. And if, if you're wondering why it's off-center, when we get inside the upstairs apartment, I'll show you why it's off-center. I've taken the roof, and I just got some roof tiles there. You can kind of see it from the side. So I added the roof. And if you look over here, let me get some of these guys out the way. You go back to this side, you can see I built a little, kind of a little entrance. Got a newspaper stand right there. 
which are really becoming obsolete because of the internet. So here again is this outside seating area. So let me let me get it open and I'll show you the inside. All right, guys. So here's the inside. This is I've got two tables set up. You see, I got the brick adjuster there and the brick zapper enjoying a pizza. And over here we got Bubba Bricks and Kalen and they're enjoying a glass of wine. We've got bricks from Hollywood, Friction Pin, and Brickmaster Inc. They just they're working on getting their pizzas, but they can't find the place to sit. So I got the cash register set up with the counter right there. And I like using these jumper plates because if you've seen when I went around the outside, the guys were falling down. Well, if you stick them on a jumper plate, they don't fall. So as we turn around, there's the door to the outside seating area. And then right here, you can see the little stove and sink and the, the get. I guess that's the range or the hood. I should say the vent hood for the stove. I got a little cupboard there with some, some drawers. There's a pizza pan on top. There's the chef. He's got the pizza on the paddle that just came out of the pizza oven. See, I got the pizza oven right here. And there's another pizza inside of there. So that's the chef. That chef actually came with the set. This is the pizza guy that I bought a while back. He's working the counter. You can see him right there. Hang on, guys. Let me grab this phone. Sorry about that, guys. So that's what the inside of it looks like. I've opened it up a little bit. I didn't really make it really big, but I did open it up. I got a couple couple seats in there. So tell me what you think about it, guys. I've got the opening here so the workers can work to the back. And then on the outside, back to the outside, I've got the opening here because the upstairs apartment belongs to the chef, and that's so he can go up the stairs to his apartment. So let me get the apartment on there, and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, here's the upstairs apartment. Now, I can tell you, from I went to Jaystifer, and I Jaystifer did a tutorial on that bed, so I built that bed. This is just a one-room apartment. This belongs to the chef. I got a little nightstand there with a light. There's the table. with the, There's the Lego News newspaper, but I really like this kitchen, and I wanted to build this kitchen for the chef. So, I, again, these are all ideas from Jaystifer. You check him out, you'll see he does tutorials. So we've got the cupboards here, right here. I'm missing one white tile that I came up one short. We got the sink with the hot and cold water. Pull out drawers for underneath. There's some cabinets, some more cabinets. There's the stove with the hood. Here's the oven right here. More drawers, another cabinet. And this would be the refrigerator. And you can see I don't have anything inside there, so I no need to open it. I got a, his broom in the corner. And then as we move back around, you'll see there's his bed. And there's the door that goes out to the little patio. Well, it's not really a patio. It's just a, the transition to go downstairs. So let me get this back together and give you my final thoughts and be right back. So I got the roof back on it. As you can see, it's built like a modular style. Uh, one Another thing that I didn't realize after I built it was Jaystifer shows you a way to get rid of that gray line from your floors. I wish I would have done that, but I didn't. Maybe next time. And then on the side here, I forgot to mention, I put these things kind of to symbolize torches. Kind of light up the outside area whenever at night time. So tell me what you think, guys. So there it is, guys. That is my pizza shop mock. Or my brand new city pizza. So that's what I came up with, guys. I really like the way it turned out. Like I told you, I need probably six one by one line plates and one one by two white tile. And this one will be completely finished. So up next is another SIG float. So I'm going to get to work on that. We'll show you that as soon as I get done with it. And then what should I do next, guys? Any ideas? Uh, if you notice, I like to take this, the city sets and kind of do my own little customation. I guess you would call it enlarge the current buildings. Because the current city sets are really good. They give you something to work off of. So tell me what you think, guys. Leave me some comments. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. You can check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks. 
You can follow me on Instagram at MardiGrawMan23. So until next video, guys, thanks, and we'll see you again.